we get to the meat. What's going on in the video, right? Mm. I don't need the introductions, right? Do you? No, no. Unless we're missing something. Oh, well. Um, they just usually have, like, they show the guy and they have, like, a little song. I think they don't need all that. Like, he, like he's coming out for the steel cage match or something. Like, right. here he comes with his chair. So, interesting, because supposedly this one's all in English. Um, so it'd be really easy for us to understand, right? Well, I'm not the sharpest sometimes, so I'll do my best. You're not the sharpest thing or tool in the thing where they keep the sharp Somebody stuff. Somebody once told me. No, never mind. Yeah, sing it. Nope. All right. Last one was hilarious, so this should be pretty good, too. Looney. Looney. Flip top Kamusta! Prepping for this match was torture. Eric, I can't thank you more. You took me on a massive tour. This land is gorgeous. He even shared his battle formula. The way you prep is mad important. Pegasus, Air Force One, and Happy Sauna. I was nervous, but they were very nice. They said he goes there every night. <laughs> <laughs> and now this punk is what he gets me. Just some bum who thinks he's destined to be worshipped for his earnings, mate. Your money don't impress me. I'll punch you in a frenzy till I'm rupturing your belly. Pull your guts out, hang intestines from the rafters and the belfry. I'll drink your blood Ooh. like it was sherry. Crush your nuts into confetti. Then I'll <laughs> ring your girl and yell, we've saved a bunch upon our wedding. It's... <laughs> It's gonna get real messy, but a knife v machete. This puppy's blood will spurt, but first, I'd love to get a selfie. Would that be all right? <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. Son. He's like throwing comedy in there with it. He's just like. <laughs> Thank you. See, for a while now, I've been trying to take a bunch of shots to illustrate the lowest ebbs of human nature. Sober things. <laughs> 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 Sober things that make me think I'm lucky. Life's okay, yeah? You know, like a dog that's lost its tail, or a guy who's missed the train, or a bunch of guys I've met who've been sleeping rough for days without one picture of your face? That is proper fucking failure. I mean, that other stuff is really bad, but that could be my screensaver. I mean, <laughs> no one would fall in love with this. You look like a deflated puffer fish. What? <laughs> One eye closed, shite closed, hair on your chin that's like a goat's, nostrils so far apart they each have their own time zones. I mean, <laughs> wow. <that's all> right. <laughs> I bet when you picked it, you weren't all that subtle. Did you dig the finger in right up to the knuckle? Did you lift it and spin it? Did you get your whole fist in? Did you hammer in both like some pneumatic pistons? Whenever you sniff, does the furniture drift in? <laughs> I heard it sucked up his grandma when she lent in to kiss him. When you're out on a mission, if the wind starts to pick in, does it fill up with dogs and cats and pigeons? I heard at weekends, if he's got a spare hour to fit in, he likes to install the odd art exhibition. It's a wide nose. Wow. Yes, that cap and shaved head are quite scary, you know, but I'd shave my hair too if my hair didn't grow. I mean, come on. <laughs> That Don't one. be surprised <laughs> like, that yeah. Cap's there because he needs it. We all know the truth. Your hair is receding. Huh? If he took that thing off, <laughs> if he took that thing off, you could see it retreating. I guess it's not just Sony Records that wants to up and leave him. Oh. And no, don't listen to them. You don't need no cosmetics. You're like a one-man Filipino Venice, just with the nostrils of an evil ferret and the hairline of Magneto's helmet. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Make huh. some noise. <laughs> <laughs> Got him right away. Doing, that was perfect. You're a battle rapping teacher, according to the pamphlets. But no one's looking forward to your matches because they're as boring as your classes. <laughs> he likes to call himself a metaphorical assassin. Bro, you're such an adorable faggot. <laughs> I should send this foreigner's body to the corner after using his four-wheeler bag as a portable casket. You're a full-time teacher, right? Fly-by rapper. 
You can't kick it with me, Grist. I'm a Muay Thai master, the type to body bag you and give you a high five after, especially if you're asking for it. Like the Wi-Fi password. Whoa. Now you really think that you can win here with your nice guy swagger? Nice try, Cracker. Oh! <laughs> Damn! You wore that suit and tie designed with a tie-dye pattern and a t-shirt inside that says, White Lives Matter. <laughs> I hope you fucking die of cancer, you liney bastard. Listen here, what? you little British prick. Fuck your fish and chips. <laughs> Jesus. Over here in the Philippines, we got fish and chips. <laughs> now, what you know about that motherfucking deal is crisps. <laughs> Last time I was in London, I tried ordering my lunch in. <clears throat> Sausages, muffins, porridge with some crumpets. The food was borderline disgusting. And for the record, most of your women are either oversized or ugly. Yeah. And I bet you bloody wankers don't even have the bollocks to colonize this country. Ooh. In it, bruv. In it, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> he got him to crack. Now, even if I lose, I consider this shit grist for the mill, but he just came here for my views. It's literally grist for the mill. So I guess that a million is cool for this British buffoon and his illiterate students sitting in school. But listen up, dude. You know how this battle gets triple the views? I don't mean to be a bit of a douche, but get on the ground right now and start kissing my shoes. Oh, wow. Time. Wow. I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, you are more famous. You're a celebrity, dude. You saved Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. And you said London. <laughs> That's not where I live. I bet you think your girl's G-spot's on her left eyelid. <laughs> I just battled protege. You should know your fucking place. I'll beat you back to back to back like Joe did Drake. And you know it, mate. You should be protege's protege. And you think that... And you think the crowd chanting your name is something I fear, bro? Nah, Jose Vizel was a real fucking hero, and he'd hate the kind of writer you are. The king of rhyme, he said online in the star, I can rhyme with anything, my rhyming's so sharp. Like, I could rhyme whole bottle. And my, when you start, I got whole bottle. I got role model. I got throttle. I got... Wobble wobble. <laughs> oh, the majesty, the gravity. I'm amazed, I'm in awe. Such rhyming magic. He's like a Filipino Dumbledore. That's. <laughs> That's rhyming at his essence, so insightful, such invention. I mean, I've never heard anyone use I got wobble wobble in a sentence. And yet, <laughs> and yet you rhymed it with whole bottle. <laughs> Wobble, wobble, so <laughs> awful, waffle, waffle. And he's so quick to claim that he's big in the game. A gangster who hangs with the baddest you've met. Yeah, Looney, so cool, in an old interview, claimed his main inspiration is Alanis Morissette. Yeah, <laughs> Alanis Morissette. How fucking gangster can you get? <laughs> <laughs> He heard Jagged Little Pill, found it insightful. He loves that CD, keeps it clutched like a Bible. When he heard a UK artist was coming to fight, all he could think was, I hope it's a Spice Girl. <laughs> he doesn't listen much to grime or rap or Eminem. Well, sometimes you can. You did listen all the time to Stan. He loves those bits where Dido sang. And don't you think it's funny that you heard a woman singing about mediocre men who try to keep her quiet and the content of her work spurred you on to be the lynch of a whole scene where women don't compete, where they stay silent. I mean, that's a little bit ironic, don't you think? Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. And your material on women is so played out and greasy. On top of that, mate, it's so fucking easy. Like, I'll come round to your crypt. Okay, here we go. I forgot to do, do the... Oh, you forgot to do that trick that people were telling us where... Yeah. Was like, my dick what was it? Afterwards, you I'll go home, write a shit. Yeah, I forgot to do the... Where you... What is it? You go to the end of the video? Yeah. And, like, just watch it for, like, halfway, and then you hit the replay button. Okay, so I'm at 12. No, it's not going to work. Well, oh. are we going to get another ad? Okay. Yeah, now hit circle. And then hit...
and then bring us back to 12. Now let's see if that trick works. I don't know if there was going to be another and your commercial material or not. Women is so played out and greasy. On top of that, mate, it's so fucking easy. Like I'll come round to your crib tonight. Your girl, she wants my dick inside her. Afterwards, I'll go home write a shit review on TripAdvisor. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize, <laughs> but that is 90% of what you write. Don't t t t Filipino time. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I don't care who you are and what you do. And I didn't understand a single thing you said to me, man, but fuck you too. <laughs> you see, researching for this British cunt wasn't really fun. I typed in the best of Mark Grist, and guess what, bruv? There isn't one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, I tried Googling this bitch, and I felt like I was clicking for ages. And then finally, Mark Grist, after 17 pages. <laughs> another desperate, aging, irrelevant, nameless beggar with elephantiasis. <laughs> and judging by the melanin and the freckles on his face, you can definitely tell that he's racist. Ooh. I bet you like to touch kids on a regular basis. Oh, Oof, you that should was be brutal. investigated That's by federal brutal. agents for having sexual relations with seventh grade Asians. You're a fucking immature asshole who likes fucking immature assholes. Oh, Jeez. Wow. He may look like a decent guy, but deep inside, he's got an evil side. The one with a Smeagol smile. <laughs> That's right, pedophile. <laughs> now, I want you to be advised that nobody in here cares to understand those European rhymes. And if somebody ever claps or reacts, I won't be surprised because nine out of ten is probably just my Filipino peoples being nice. Because your skin is white. You have a face that says, I'm insecure about my penis size. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the last remaining members of the Beatles die just so I can see you cry. This fucking white geek is in trouble. When I beast your live feed in the jungle where I eat. If you wanted more views, you should have doubled my fee, but you'll never reach the likes of someone like me, faggot. Ooh, that was pretty good. That was good. Go on! Um, okay, before I start, seriously, Eric, thanks a lot, man. You really hooked me up. Now, Eric here gets a ton of love. Comes to you, though. Not so much. A lot of the battlers hate him. They always say the same things. He's greedy, hates this scene, and he won't do shit if you don't pay him. If you ain't got cash, you're blown off. He's all about his own costs. At first, I figured, well, so what? Like, he clearly needs a nose job. But they took me to one side, and more reports start coming through. You're slipping on your tightrope. No safety net. You're falling through. You want rescuing? These guys won't, because each of them is bored of you, cheating for those high notes like your Britney Spears' auto-tune. You backstabbing, cash-grabbing, sack of crap, all gas and branding. Anyone wanted actual help? He wouldn't do a damn thing. He cheats and lies. He really likes to see how fucked you are. The king of rhyme. Nah, Lion King. And it's clear you're Uncle Scar and the first, first I've never seen Lion way, King he packed up his bags and toured around the States and so yeah it turns out your tour wasn't great I mean how many was it like four people came I mean uh, no lion no porkies today that's why they ain't asked you to tour it again they paid for your comforts and look how you thank them the money he makes investing in abandoning all of you guys for gold wigs and handguns he keeps facing west like a compass that's stamped on it's all western artists he says that inspired him it's all western references inside your writing you don't like this country these people that's fine but that is the truth boy why try and deny it round here wow. while well, they struggle for food on the street he's at Trump Tower reduced to his knees guzzling, suckling, refusing to eat till Donald Trump's pubes are removed from his teeth. Wow. Ain't got no balls, ain't got no courage. He saw all the suffering, just figured, fuck it. One sniff from the West, just watch him go running. I won't be surprised if you hide in my luggage. I'm finished. <laughs> I'm finished with this kid who sees my passport as a thing of dreams. He'd pack up all his things and leave, ignoring what's here in the scene. I mean, loony, mate, you're killing me. It's a symphony, such history. Damn, he looks love pissed. Of in these streets. I mean it, mate. I don't want to leave. I fucking love the Philippines. <laughs> oh, wow. 
This gig's been dope. I don't want to go, but it's time to bring this thing to close. If you're smart, you'll know how the multi goes. Putang in a mold! <laughs> Damn. Yo. That pathetic piece of performance art. The I like when he does his accent. The royal like god. <laughs> I killed him in 90 seconds like a poisonous dart. I ain't got no problems talking to Mark. He's like a prostitute in Lunetta. Just another walk in the park. Yeah. It's pretty awkward, eh? <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I guess standing in front of you makes me want to talk this way. <laughs> <laughs> don't flop all day. That little league's whack. That's why he's here in the Philippines trying to make his mark on the Philippine map with his Mr. Bean swag. <laughs> I'm the president. The Punisher's bringing the guillotine back. You're about to fade away like that skinny jean fad. This mismatch is a mishap. I'm predicting this will be bad. Kinda like Duterte's middle finger against the British Queen's twat. Ooh. Mm. Now it's pretty <laughs> obvious that I'm about to body this faggot ass battle rap hobbyist with action Bronson tits. <laughs> you're way past your prime, but still you're an optimist. Stop it, Grist. You're older than a floppy disk. <laughs> huh? you, you got beat by definition and a fucking retard. <laughs> this makes you the perfect definition of a fucking retard. Rhyming retard with retard. Now I know that nobody in here gets it. And I respect it, but accepting this battle was a big mistake, and he regrets it like Brexit. Oh. Now oh. check it, I'm a legend. They refer to me as Alamat. I'm about to crush this ginger and turn him into Salabat. Oh. But for my final bars, I have a different battle plan. <laughs> I will use my Jollibee call center accent so everyone can understand. <laughs> I'm here to leave a lasting impression on Mark like a cattle brand. Break his heart like a thunder fan because I'm teacher's enemy, number one. <laughs> Tagalog or English, I'm flexible like a rubber band. You want to mortal combat with me, Mr. Russell Brand? I'm like Goro with the four arms. I got the upper hand. Yeah! Now this is something that you cannot extinguish. It's gruesome when I depict this and you cannot distinguish. Do you know what else rhymes with distinguish? Extinguish? Relinquish? Tsaka po kinang inan yung mga British na uubusan na ako ng English! Tagalogin ko na lang? Tagalogin ko na lang? I don't know what he's saying. Tagalogin ko na lang para sa kapakanan ng mga tulad ni Badang. Soy, i-google mo na lang. Mas masarap pag Tagalog kasi mas paangas pag rekta. Manakawang ka sana ng mga bag at maleta sa may araneta at masagasa ka sana sa kalsada sa EDSA. Ooh, I don't know what that was but that sounded cool. Ito na ba yung pinadala nilang panlaban sa gera? Wala namang kwenta. Isa ka lamang napakalaking sagabal, punyeta. Huwag ka nang umata pa repa <laughs> tapos na ang karera di ka na makakabuelta. Hindi mo alam, umuwi ka na lang. Salamat sa pera. <laughs> That's cool. Man, that's tough to call. Man, I, uh, I, the dude Grist. I like the, I like, I like the Grist, man. I think Looney had some. He he was just. He was he was steaming a little bit a couple times. There. I think so. Yeah, he had a. He's got that harsh edge that I like. He's just like, like brutal with it. You know, mm -hmm. he just he he goes right for the throat. The other guy, Grist, is a little more... There's a lot more wordplay involved in getting around to what he's saying. Right. So there's a little more creativity there. They're, they're both they're both very good. Um, um, Looney with the accent, too? That's yeah. great, man. I wish I would have known he, what he said at the end there, though. Yeah. Because that, that was probably like the grand finale and yeah. totally you know, and got the crowd going. It's like... Fucking mm. subtitles failed us. Damn. But I love that shit, man. I like how they, you know, they look pissed and everything. Yeah, and then they like, hey, yeah. like good one, you know. It, it literally, it's like a fight, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a rap battle. So do they do they end up like you know crowning the winner here? I don't know. We got 
three, how many minutes did we get? Oh, see, they're just talking. They're just like, hey, how's it going? This is after the fight, yeah. He's like, I kicked his fucking ass. I kicked his fucking ass. I wouldn't be less than a man if I didn't admit that he kicked my fucking ass. That's what Chris is saying. I'm a big puss. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. yeah. sweet. I like that. Like I said. That's, that's, that's cool. That's cool. They can just fire, fast fire at each other like that, but they're not taking it personal. You no, know? I mean, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, you know, that's research and a lot of stuff to remember, man. Very creative. Very yeah. creative. It's all about the delivery, too, the way that they're up there and presenting mm-hmm. it. Like, yeah. actually, like, captivating the crowd, you know? They got the crowd. That, that's cool. If you stumble once, they're going to boo you, man. Yeah. You're going to lose, and they're, it's, it's going to get ugly. If you forget your line, if your timing is off, if you pause, if you just you miss a beat. So I did. Let me cut that off. Yeah, so go. this is cool. Uh, thanks for chi- uh, chilling with us. Uh, hey, these are fun. Uh we'll let do, us we'll give do us more. a yeah, give us a summary of what that what that last part was about, his his uh his uh grand finale. Yeah, someone just you know, if you got time to translate it wasn't too much. No. So. Everybody a lot of people, I love that in the comments too, when they're all like this is what it was about, you know, this is what mm-hmm. he said. Yeah, stuff like that. All right. Hit, hook us up with the translate. Yeah. Thanks for uh hanging out. Uh we gotta go. We got some more we videos got to do. More stuff, yeah, all more right. stuff to check out. Bye.